What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today we've got something that I haven't had on this channel for a while. We've got a pizza. I think the last pizza I did was the Domino spicy one. Um, but we haven't had one from the supermarket for quite a while and Aldi have just released three. They've got, the, they're actually not new, well they are new pizzas but they're limited edition pizzas so I'm not sure how long they're going to be on, on or in for. I suppose they'll probably go on how popular they are now price i'm just going to tell you the price straight away so these are 2.99 a piece so three quid for a pizza it's not too bad they're all stuffed crust pizzas first you've got the bacon cheeseburger which if you remember domino's did that as well you've got the absolute banger, which has got a hot dog stuffed crust, which is basically a rip-off of the Domino's absolute banger. Can't believe we've got away with saying that. It's called absolute banger. New limited edition takeaway. And the one we're going to try today, which is this one. It's a salt and pepper chicken with a spicy tomato stuffed crust. So we're going to go with this one today, and then we'll get them to in the freezer, and we'll do them at some point. But I just wanted to let you know that them three are out and we'll try them at a later date. If you've had any of these, let me know which one's your favourite. Absolute banger, salt and pepper chicken or bacon cheeseburger. Which one's your favourite? Three pizzas. Now, I was contemplating reviewing all of them in the same one, but then they'll just get wasted because me and Dino daughter, Mrs Dino doesn't eat pizza, and me and Dino daughter won't eat all three of these. No chance, so we're better off just doing it one at a time and uh, you'll see these in the future. Probably not too long because obviously I will want to get them out there because like I said they are limited edition so there's no point me showing you what they're like when they're not about anymore, <laughs> discontinued. So limited edition, there you go, let me know in the comments which one's your favourite. We're going to take a look at this salt and pepper chicken um, pizza with a spicy tomato stuffed crust. So this is it, we've got the Carlos limited edition takeaway salt and pepper chicken. Spicy tomato stuffed crust and it says cook using a pizza tray or baking paper. Cooked in 23 minutes from frozen and that is a traffic light system. That's per half a pizza. So this is going to set you back a 1200 calories this pizza. It's no good if you're on a diet. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's got some uh, green, and, green and red peppers on there, mushrooms. Um, yeah, salt chicken. Obviously some salt and pepper. Let's turn it over, let's have a look at what it says about it. So it says, spicy tomato sauce, stuffed crust base, topped with spicy tomato sauce, <laughs> chili chicken strips, grated mozzarella and cheddar cheese, green and red bell pepper and butter with salt, pepper and spices. And that is the ingredients there. So you've got a few allergens there. You've got milk and wheat, and it's 11% chili chicken strips, 11% spicy tomato sauce stuffing, 9% spicy tomato sauce, 10% mozzarella cheese, 2.5% cheddar cheese, 2.5%, oh no, and then it just says red pepper, green pepper. And the nutritional information in more detail is right there. If you eat this pizza, you're going to get 50 grams of protein, but you're also going to get 150 grams of carbs. 527 grams, and as you can see there, it says produced using Polish chicken. I wonder what these, these are for then, because if that says producers in Polish chicken, CZ is Czechoslovakia, right? And ES must be Spain. So is this from all over Europe or or what What we're saying? There's a bit of information there if you want to pause and have a read of that. I think I've read it over and over on this channel, so we'll uh, we'll just crack straight on. It looks all right. How long are we cooking this? 23 minutes in the oven, I'm taking it, yeah. Middle shelf, pizza tray. Now... Regular viewers of the channel will know that the last time I did a stuffed crust pizza from Aldi, from this Carlos range, I ruined my pizza tray. I had to chuck it away. I'll link that video at the end of this one if you haven't seen that. But I've got another one. So we've got a brand spanker, a new pizza tray. So hopefully it doesn't do the same. Right, I'll get this out and we'll take a look at it. And then I'll get it in the, uh, get it in the oven. In all fairness, I did, I think, I let it defrost the last one. This one is frozen. There you go. 
so we'll open this up take that off and there we go that's it so I'll get that in the oven for 23 minutes and then we'll have a taste would you believe that I, when I was walking around Aldi today, I literally bought this today, the um I went to the freezer section and they've got the they've got they've got Christmas food out already. It's September the twenty the time of filming this, you're gonna see it on Monday I think, but it's September the twenty second Friday. They've got Christmas food out on twenty second of September. What is the world coming to? They had all the party food there. Could not believe it. Could not believe it. We won't be trying any Christmas food for a little bit yet. Um yeah. We haven't even got Halloween out of way yet. Right, bring you down and have a look at this pizza because it's just about ready. Okay, so there we go. Salt and pepper chicken pizza with a stuffed spicy tomato stuffed crust. So it'll be interesting to see. It hasn't ruined my tray, which I'm happy about. It'll be interesting to see actually how spicy the this crust, the tomato sauce in the crust is. And actually, I've never actually had salt and pepper chicken from like the Chinese or anything. So this is going to be an experience for me. So I'm going to let it cool down a bit. I'll get my tools. And then we'll have a taste. Okay, it's all important taste time. But before we have a taste, just have a closer look. Right, let's get straight into this. You've got that crispy crust, there's no flop. Undercarriage is nicely done there. No flop as Dave Portnoy would say. Oh, it smells spicy actually. There's no spice rating. There's no spice rating. I just thought that the, uh, the tomato sauce in the crust was the spicy bit, but it actually smells, it smells a bit like Chinese spice spice. Did you get you know, that, that seasoning you get? Chinese spice? Is it called Chinese spice spice? I think it is. Anyway, we'll give it a go. Mmm. It's got a nice thin base, but it's not like hard. It's quite nice. It's got a little bit of a kick, but not too much, not too much. You can taste them peppers and uh, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a, um, put your phone on silent when you're reviewing Dave. It's like a, a spice that just gets the back of your throat but not, it's not burning, it's like a, like a taste. Got a nice crispy edge. So we'll give it this uh, spicy tomato sauce in the crust now. Stuffed crust, as usual with the Aldi's, it's not stuffed to the very top, but you can see some tomato sauce in there. So we'll give that a go. Yeah, I like it. It's not too bad. It's not too spicy. So something a little bit different to your basic pepperoni and things like that from the supermarket. This is all right. I don't think it's going to be my favourite out of the three. I think that the absolute banger will be because I like the fact that the hot dog crust. That's quite good. And Dino Daughter's excited about that one as well. But this one, I give it a seven out of ten. This is a, this is well worth it. Something a little bit different. Good start to the week. Salt and pepper chicken. Decent. Seven out of ten. Thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow for another food review.
I'm going to finish this.